This is the Toyota Yaris Cross and yes it's another small crossover and it's wedging itself into what is a very congested segment. It's a segment that's dominated by the likes of the Hyundai Kona, the Peugeot 2008 and the Ford Puma. So should we care? Well yes we should because it's a Toyota and you guys love Toyota here in Ireland. Plus it's based on the Yaris which is the reigning European car of the year and is regarded by customers and critics alike as very good. It was the third most popular car in Ireland in 2021. So is this any good and is there a point to it? Let's find out. So what is the point of turning the little Yaris into a crossover? Well the fact is that you guys love small crossovers. In Ireland that segment is skyrocketing with nearly every major brand introducing an entrant over the last couple of years. Plus it's not just about the young affluent urbanites that the marketing folk covet. Cars like this are great for an older audience too. If your back isn't so good, if your hips are a bit creaky, these cars are really easy to get in and out of because of the higher access point. So what are the similarities and differences between the Yaris Cross and the regular Yaris? Well, it sits on the Yaris platform, so obviously the wheelbase is the same, but it is taller, it is longer, and it also sits that little bit higher, about 25 millimeters higher. So it does give you that sense of being high up and obviously that access point, which we spoke about earlier on, which is great if you're putting child seats into the back and also if you're a little bit older and your mobility isn't what it used to be. In terms of styling, there is the essence of Yaris in the styling throughout, especially at the front in terms of the lights and obviously at the rear styling uh, of the Yaris Cross. It's very similar to the Yaris as well, but there's quite an essence of Toyota's larger SUVs in this, in particular the RAV4. When you look at the grille, it's quite reminiscent of the RAV4. Speaking of the RAV4, this car is actually bigger than the original RAV4 was back in 1995. So it's true to say, like all of us, as the years go by, we're all getting a bit bigger. In terms of practicality, this Yaris Cross is a hatchback and it has 397 litres of boot space. Now you can expand that out to 1,097 litres if you fold the seats flat. The cabin is a real leap forward for Toyota with better plastics and quite an upmarket feel throughout. The adventure model has lots of piano black details and a piano black headlining. But the real improvement is in this new multimedia platform. It uses a nine inch high definition touchscreen, which is much easier to see in a variety of light conditions and offers a much better user experience. There's a wireless Apple CarPlay and a USB connection, which I'm a little surprised isn't a USB-C, which is where most brands are going right now. Under here, under the bonnet, you'll find a 1.5 liter petrol engine, putting at 116 horsepower and 120 newton meters of torque but this of course is a hybrid so you do have a small battery helping with fuel economy and in this car it does a very good job at that fuel economy is very good in this and over the course of our week even with the tiddly fuel tank in this the needle was really stubborn to move what's lovely about this hybrid function as well is that there is a gauge in the car that tells you how much percentage of time you're spending in EV mode and at various stages over the course of my week I was driving at up to 75% EV mode which is very good and that's just for trips to the shops trips to school so for those kind of small journeys in this car you can be driving on little or no fuel so what is the Yaris Cross like to drive well there's good and there's bad. Firstly, the driving position is very good. You sit nice and high and upright. The controls are very well laid out. But there is that CVT gearbox. It is just unusual. It hunts around for gears and I'm not sure if you can hear it, but when you put your foot down, it does that. It does that kind of high rev, which makes people outside think that you don't know how to drive. But Overall, this is a quiet car. It's really, really good on fuel. That hybrid system works well. I do like that gauge which tells you how much percentage of time you're spending in EV mode. There is that gamification which comes into play because you uh, start getting into it, you start wanting to improve your score. Certainly I do anyway. So overall, it's a, it's a nice place to be. Um, I do like it. The Yaris Cross starts from €27,280. This adventure grade, which is a very high spec model, 
costs from 34,140 euro. You can spend even more than that if you want all-wheel drive, which is over 37,000 euro. You wouldn't necessarily see the point in that. This is a good specification. We particularly like the head-up display and the styling. Those 18-inch alloy wheels are very smart, but if you didn't want to spend quite that much money, you, the, you could probably go for the Sol version, which is around 33,000 euro and has most of the specification this model. So if you don't want to pay that full price, the Sol version is probably the one for you. However, I do like the styling of this adventure one. It's probably the one I would go for. The Yaris Cross has elbowed its way right to the front of the queue when it comes to consideration for small crossovers. It, alongside the likes of the Volkswagen T-Cross, Peugeot 2008 and Hyundai Kona are probably the best cars in the segment. And we know that you guys love Toyota. You can see that by the sales charts every year. So we'd expect big things from this model. And if you do go for this one, you probably won't be too disappointed.